Um, I've got to meet a lot of really cool people uh, besides Fum uh, over the past year. Uh, of course, we had a, a royal visit, and uh, I can tell you that the Duchess is prettier in person than even in photos. I'm uh, not sure how that's possible, but it actually is. And a few times my wife had to uh, pick my job off the floor, and uh, I remind that uh, that was probably not polite to be staring as much as I was. Um, when we talk about the state of the city, I think we can generally agree that we have a lot of good things happening in Kelowna. Uh, we've been one of Canada's fastest growing census metropolitan areas uh, since 2013. In that time, our city welcomed 8,000 new residents for today's total of just over 127,000 citizens. Continued growth over this length of time tells me that as a city, we are managing to create a place that meets the economic and lifestyle needs that people from diverse backgrounds are looking for. We're still a great place to spend your retirement, and we're also becoming a great place to build a career and raise a family. And for all the fear that resulted from a traffic bylaw update in November that extended the hours by which people blocking doorways or sidewalks in commercial areas can be asked to move, for all the uproar that followed, only one ticket has been issued. And that's because bylaw enforcement and the RCMP respond to complaints about people blocking sidewalk access by asking them to move to a different location while also ensuring the person is aware of the multiple resources available to them in our city. <coughs> the annual 2016 KPMG study found Florida to be the most cost-effective city in Western North America in which to operate a business. Business licenses were up more than 6% in 2016. We're the third largest technology hub in BC, and it's the fastest growing economic sector in Kelowna, attracting new businesses and investors. The tech sector's economic impact increased by 30% between 2013 and 2015, and added 1,000 jobs during that time. We saw Telus's investment in its new business center downtown, the Okanagan Center for Innovation nearing completion, and last week, Council approved development plans for a 21,000 square foot building that includes a sound studio for the film industry and plans for a second building. This has been a 15 year effort to attract a large scale film studio to this region and will help bolster the Okanagan's multi-million dollar film industry. The Council's final strategic priority, working toward a citywide water system that provides clean, sustainable water to all of our residents. We participated in the province's review of local water systems in January, and we are awaiting the completion of that value planning report to determine next steps. The city's main focus in the short term is to maximize grant funding through the Clean Water and Wastewater Fund to assist with drinking water quality in southeast Kelowna and a sustainable supply and distribution of agricultural water to the South Okanagan Mission Irrigation, irrigation <coughs> District ratepayers. The City of Kelowna has submitted grant applications worth a total of $76 million to the Clean Water and Wastewater Fund. Thank you for being involved in shaping Kelowna's future as a beautiful place to live and a great place to be involved for everyone. Thank you.